Giant Shannon Vlogs continuing 31 Days of Horror and the Giant Gila Monster on Day 12. I messed up the order there. Giant Gila Monster. <laughs> hey, sh hey, hey, Shannon. I'm Shannon. Hey, everyone. It is Shannon. I'm continuing through my 50 horror classics um, pack and with the giant Gila monster. It actually, I don't know if it was the next one, but it was close to, and so I decided to go with it because it does have a bit of a cult status. Um, I'm like, where's my picture? The giant Gila monster. I always want to say Gila. It ain't. They always say Gila. And Gila monsters are real things. I thought they were making it up for this movie, but I looked it up, and they're actually a poisonous or venomous lizard. But they're not giant. Only in this movie. And that's with some suspension of disbelief. <laughs> anyway, so this is the first time watch for me. I picked it because it does have a sort of cult status kind of thing. It was remade to Gila a couple years ago. I haven't seen that one. Um, but this one was made in the late 50s, 59, I think. I think almost all of the ones that I've watched on this are from 1959. It was a big monster movie time. Um, and, um, it feels like it was set then, but it was actually just made then. <laughs> so we have, like, you know, people, like, it's about, it follows a bunch of sort of young people, uh, mainly this one guy who's a mechanic, and, you know, people are all often talking about their awesome cars, and, you know, there's little dances at the sort of drugstore kind of place, and then, like, a bigger dance at, like, a barn or something. <laughs> anyway, so it's just sort of, like, young people having fun, mostly. And then, of course, the giant Gila monster <laughs> that comes and, you know, <laughs> knocks over cars and tags people bowl and <laughs> it was totally awesome you know like there's this I, I actually I really love this kind of monster movie so much it's just it's like they have one you know they have like a regular sized Gila monster on a set that looks like where they're actually filming and then they just sort of edit it together and I actually thought it worked really well like for me it was there were only a few times that you could really tell the difference. Um, so I was quite impressed with the special effects. I don't know how many other people are, but I actually thought they did a really, really good job because it's hard to do that. It's hard to get, you know, I don't know how much, how big actual Gila mo monsters are. I think they're sort of like, you know, this, you know, but like not the size that can take out a car. <laughs> so that was really cool. Um, I think it was usually the cars that felt like, oh yeah, that's a model. <laughs> But generally, the la the landscape was awesome. Um, so it was actually, it was quite a charming movie. I actually like the story a lot. The characters were interesting. You know, you have the this mechanic guy who's trying to, like, help out his family, but also get his hot rod, all hot rod-ish, you know, and has his, you know, girlfriend who's some kind of, like, I think she's French? Amazing how that is a weird theme in these older movies is often the girl is from elsewhere and has an accent. It's kind of like, really? <laughs> so, I've been in several that I've watched. So we had that with here, with the Gila monster. I think she's French. Um, you know, he's trying to help his family and provide a bit, you know, and that kind of stuff. And then there's like the Gila monster and all this kind of stuff. And it's sort of, it's usually, a, it's actually more of a mystery because like, you know, no one really survives the Gila monster attacks, so the sheriff is, like, trying to look into sort of more, like, missing persons and accidents and, you know, the local, you know, guy who has the most money. I don't think he's the mayor, but just sort of the, you know, the, the... <laughs> I'm, like, I'm watching too much Longmire. I'm, like, I know what character it would be in Longmire. <laughs> Like Branch's dad, he was that type of character, you know, the guy that has all the money, but you know, so he can push his pu push his weight around, but he actually is not any kind of official. Anyway, so he pushes the sheriff a lot because his daughter is one of the people that goes missing. So it's you know, for me, it was a lot of fun, you know, and uh, and the effects were pretty good, and the story was actually pretty good in comparison to some of the B movies, and the acting was fine. Like it was just like it was just an enjoyable, fun. B-movie watch. I had quite a blast. Um, it was amazing how many times, though, like, 
they they involve the mechanic guy. Like it makes sense, right? Because he's the, like the basically the protagonist outside the Gila monster, of course. <laughs> like, it, but it's like, oh, we have this car wreck. Oh, we have this issue on the road. Oh, this car, this truck, this whatever. Like it's all about, you know, so vehicles. <laughs> And needing whatever, so he's involved, and then the sheriff trying to figure out what's going on, you know, so he's involved, so it's kind of funny. But there were, and there actually were a fair amount of cars, and some of the, I think they did do some real car stunts in this. It, there were some of the, contextually, like, you know, some of the time, the things that show the time are really wild, like, um, one of the, one of the, there's drunk driving, you know, and it was just sort of you know, oh, you know, he's drunk and he's driving. And it's like, you know, now it's like, no, you don't do that. Like, that is major offense, you know, really, you know, we're just so aware of it as an issue. And it was like, you know, he was just coming home late from a party, coming home the next day from the party. So he was, he was still drunk and still drinking. <laughs> it's like, you know, concerning, you know, to manage the issue, but certainly wasn't illegal, you know, so it's just wild to see, but the 59, so we have 59, 69, 79, 89, 99, 99 2009, like we're talking, that's 56 years ago, so that's a long time, <laughs> you know, so, but it's, it was one of the interesting things that you can really tell that how things change over time. So, yeah, and of course, then the costs of things, too, you know, but still, because they did talk about that, because he worked in a store and, or a mechanic, and so money, money was an issue, and that came up. So, anyway, overall, very enjoyable. Um, you know, was it horror? Not really. Maybe it was at the time, because it's, like, monster, and like, ah, but not really. It wasn't very scary. It wasn't really a horror movie. Technically, you know, monster movies, in this sense, I don't know if they ever explained why I was dying. I think it just happened to be... No, they did. They did. They went into the scientific stuff and someone had a book on reptiles and somehow they figured it out or something. I don't know, or something like that. That I should have left for the spoiler zone, I guess. But it technically, you know, when generally, when it's a creature that's disproportionate, it's usually science fiction because science explains why it's a change. I just, I don't remember the explanation because I didn't really care. So, yeah. Was it horror? Not really. You know, was it scary? Not really. It wasn't enjoyable, of course. It was very enjoyable. I had a blast watching it and definitely it was well worth, uh, you know, going ahead to that movie because I had a blast watching it. So, Giant Gila Monster, awesome. Um, I would rate it an 8 out of 10. Oh, I forgot to rate the last one. Burmian, uh Sound, whatever. Sound Studio. What did I give it? I gave it a seven and a half. So this is an eight, which is actually really good because I usually give a good B movie a seven. So this was actually better than a good uh, B movie. So I guess it makes it a great, a great B movie. <laughs> they sold people on Giant Gila Monster and like their expectations are like way through the roof. Don't go in expecting too much, but it is a good movie. <laughs> now on to the spoiler zone, because there's just a few things that I had to note. So if you haven't watched the movie and don't want to know more, we'll see you in the next video. Otherwise, we're going to spoilers in three, two, go. I have to say that it's kind of charming to see a movie in a time where sort of like the most like like not horrific, but the most the most concerning thing that could have happened was that a couple eloped, you know, <laughs> they eloped, and, and maybe, I try, I'm trying to remember if they even inferred to that maybe, she, was she, was she pregnant, like, were they in trouble, but they never said anything about it, I don't even know if they said eloped, I think they might have said gone off together, and were they in trouble, <laughs> like, it was like, wow, that's the most challenging, possible, horrible thing that could have happened, is they got married, <laughs> Oh, how times have changed. Not that marriage isn't a big deal or anything like that, but it's just kind of like, wow. And then, of course, they have to deal with that giant gila monster. And honestly, the monster was amazing. The weirdest thing, though, is the movie's in black and white. They talk about, and you know this drawing kind of looks kind of ridiculous, but they talk about it being pink and gray, I think. Pink and gray or pink and black. And I'm like, really? So it's kind of be fun. It'd be funny to watch a colorized version of the film. But just to imagine that, I guess real Gila monsters are that color. But the monster looked awesome. I think the, the they had one stunt which was like a train. And that one you could really tell 
was in effect, not stunt, but effect. But well, I think they really did have a real car tumble down and all that kind of stuff. Like some of the car stuff was really impressive, but the monster it was just like, rah, rah. you know, I don't think you ever saw it with a person. It was just like close ups, you know, and then cut to, ah, you know, or things falling and stuff like that. I loved it. I love this kind of monster movie where it's just forced perspective and in, in, or good editing. I think it's just, it's just so brilliant. It's so brilliant. If you do it well and you get the perspective right, it works. And this works. I find like this works better than movies like the Hulk, you know, the, the Ang Lee version. That just totally, the perspective was totally off. This one nailed it nailed it <laughs> so there you go obviously i enjoyed the giant gila monster um even though i didn't it didn't get me scared but that's okay it's fun to enjoy two movies just to enjoy them <laughs> all right thanks for watching see you tomorrow oops upside down